Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to land yourself a federal government job in Canada. And unlike school or universities, I'm not going to be telling you these boring techniques of like attending a networking event, uh, talking to people that you don't even care about, or stealing their food. I'm going to be giving you the cold hard truth. I've been working now in the public sector for a couple years now, and as much as I enjoy working for the government, even I have to admit, the process is... Uh, it's quite boring. I always had all these questions like, what website do I use? What does the entire process look like? And how much do they even pay me to do all this? Luckily for you, today's your lucky day because I'm gonna be share screening and I'm gonna be walking through the entire application process and also providing you with some strategies of things I wish I knew when applying to the government. So if this sounds good to you, smash the like button uh, just because I'm going through, the last few weeks have been a little bit rough for me, but I'm in a much better place. So hit the like button and now, Let's begin. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to the Government of Canada a Job Portal website. I'll provide the link in the description and you're gonna to want to create an account here at the bottom right over here. And it's important when you're creating an account, when you're using uh, an email address, uh, use a legitimate email address. Don't do something st stupid like jellybean812 at Yahoo and you know you'll never actually check the, uh, the email. After creating an account and logging into your uh, profile, you'll land on this page right here. You'll see a job menu of job application, the status, your saved search, and you'll see the many different tabs over here. But the one we're interested in is uh, finding a job. So let's do a job search right here. Upon arriving to this page, you can very well start applying for positions if you really want to. Uh, I do recommend, I will explain on that left-hand side, uh, these refined searches that you can do by applying certain filters to narrow down your uh, job. You'll also notice on the, uh, the top section over here, these are different tabs. Uh, you'll notice that I have internal jobs on that far left-hand side just because I'm an internal employee. But the tab that you're probably most interested in is the jobs open to the public over here. If you're looking for a specific job, job title, you can very well search something along the lines of like IT, uh, a finance position, accounting, Lo work locations. You can search by whatever location that where you're living at. So if you want Ottawa, you can ap apply the Ottawa filter or if you're in Toronto, you can also apply that. Below location, we have job types, uh, internal job types uh, that's stuff for stuff like me, uh, external job types. So what we're probably looking for, if you're uh, not in the government yet, you can select regular job posting, but they also very well have graduate programs that you can also select well. Uh, in our example, let's go through the regular job postings. Under date posted, we also have the different all the different organizations that exist in the federal government from the Bank of Canada to Canada Lands Company Limited all the way down to CRA. There's many, many different uh, agencies that exist. Under organization, you can be a little bit more specific to the type of jobs that you're looking for, right? So these are the, the classification, all the different classifications that exist out in the federal government. For our example, um, I'm gonna use information technology. And you can also search by levels. Uh, it ranges from one to five over here, but I'm gonna leave that open-ended. I imagine a lot of you guys care about is the minimum salary, right? So the great thing is that you can basically weed out lower positions that you are not interested in or you believe you are the almighty six figure. You can check this off too. After you've done a refined search and you applied filter, you can very well start applying for roles. Uh, take a look down on the list, see what's applicable for you. Right hand side will always show you the salary and the languages that were required. Let's use this job posting as uh, our example for this YouTube video. Uh, it's an IT level one technician uh, position inventory. So like I said, inventory, just think of it as like, they use the word pool and you can basically think of it as like Harry Potter. You know in the fourth movie where they all put their names into a hat for the Triwizard Tournament and uh, if you're qualified then you can uh, very well be picked. Well it's, it's sort of like that okay so any once you are your name is thrown into the hat by being qualified into the pool or inventory then any hiring manager can uh, basically uh, reach into the, the, the their Harry Potter hat and go hmm uh, Joe Schmo, uh, uh, at least he's qualified. Maybe, maybe we'll interview him. When going through this entire job posting, uh, very well, I do recommend reading it thoroughly just because you want to really assess things that are required versus things that are nice to have. For example, if you're looking at the education requirement, if it says that it does require a specific uh, 
degree, whether that's IT or accounting or et cetera, uh, that, those are things that are required versus things that might be tested later on or nice to have. So let's scroll back to the top and let's just see over here. You'll notice the closing date is uh, the 31st of January, 2024. So let's click on apply over here. So right now we're on the actual page of when you actually apply to this inventory. And on the right hand side, you have all the requirements from notice, screening questions, work location, employment tenure. I will say from all everything on the right hand side, the most important one would be the screening questions. Now I'm surprised they don't have a section that says resume, but certain applications I applied to does have the resume and you apply your resume. I will say screening question is the most important because they basically, when they're doing the assessment on the other hand side, the, the, the HR person, they, in my experience, are more looking to see how you answer your screening questions. So if they're asking you a specific question, like tell me about your experience working in IT in a project manager setting, you want to be as specific as possible because when you click on the screening questions, I know, I think I quickly reviewed this one. This one looks like more the simpler side of just yes and no's. But when they're asking for an actual written response for these, you want to be as accurate as possible. So if they're saying you need at least three years experience in project management and you only put uh, in your dates that you've been in it for like two years and nine months, well, they automatically just disqualify you because they, the requirement is three years experience. So you can kind of see how important it is with how you answer every one of these questions. These are all the applicable locations that um, you can work at for this specific position. Employment tenure, like I said before, if you're looking for an indeterminate position, you're looking for a permanent, but you can also look for temporary positions uh, over here, but wh whatever suits your boat. Classifications, uh, very well, it's gonna only list what the position is about. This one's IT1, so you can check that off over here. Uh, education, uh, yeah, write down what you went to school for. Once everything has been checked off in green, you can submit your application. The biggest life hack, at least this is my opinion, when applying for uh, government jobs and making your way up, even like if you get into an IT level one position, the best strategy I've ever been told is to turn on job alerts. Like you want to very well head over to your my account and turn on email job alerts. And the reason for this is because you'll be the first person to apply for any new postings that come by. Say I'm a level one, okay, and I want to get to a two or three, then I'll just search by criteria of classification. Say I'm looking for IT, I'll select IT, and I'll select the certain levels of two and three. And whenever any positions show up, I'll be the first to apply. The key, uh, one of my older coworkers said, to, make, to do well in the government, you just gotta apply, apply, apply. It, it's, it's, it's so true. You just got to apply to move your way up in the government. You know, I have some people who be like, th th there's just so negative minded. You're just basically like, Oh, that's right. I can't apply to a level two and three, even though I've been here for like five years. It's just, it's just impossible. Just apply. I'm telling you, the key is to just apply for jobs. You know, your you know your own value okay and i'm telling you you are worth a lot more than what people tell you and what you even think you are i am always surprised about how far i can get by just applying and even if i don't even have any sort of the skill set or and, or any of that stuff you, it does you wonder when you apply and you are mostly just surprised of what sticks never let anyone tell you that you can't do anything because i guarantee you you can what's stopping you is literally you clicking a few buttons in all honesty if getting into the federal government of canada is your end goal don't get too discouraged about how long it takes to uh, actually hear back from them sometimes it may take weeks months i even seen years say for example six months from now uh, they do reply and they give you that written exam and you don't pass the first time. That's totally fine. Never let any job dictate your value. Your value is yourself. If you're really pressed on time and you're really urgently need a job, do not just apply solely to the public sector because it's going to take weeks or months or years before you actually get back. Apply to the private sector uh, because they just move things a lot quicker. And if you hear back from the public sector, AKA the government of Canada, then great. Then you can make a decision that works best for you. And then you can go, it's time. It's time to head over to the promised land.
So anyhow, with that said guys, I hope you guys found this video insightful. If you have any sort of questions about applying to the government of Canada, let me know in the comment section down below. I typically will reply to all of the questions you guys have, unless you say something stupid, but you know what I mean. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one.